Warning: The following fanfic reading contains mild sexual innuendos. Viewer's discretion is advised. Follow you down, written by Erin Atale Yellow. The early morning light flowed through the window in an attempt to brighten the room of a girl who, for all intents and purposes, did not want to get up. The room, usually kept dim, was nothing short of a mess. Clothing lied scattered across the floor, leaving the impression that it had been discarded rather hastily. A desk kept just under the window seemed to be required for a musical composition. And had been left on, revealing an unfinished piece of sheet music. The desk itself was covered in a number of knickknacks acquired over the years for various trips and birthdays. Lastly, was the bed. The sheets and covers were still on the bed, but were splayed in every direction and held together by two sleeping figures. One of the figures was a girl who appeared to retain some semblance of elegancy despite being soundly asleep. Even though she was curled up, she was clearly taller than the other occupant of the bed, whom she held very tightly within her arms. The smaller girl was pale and appeared almost frail in how small she seemed to be. Her vibrant blue hair stuck out against the rather dull bedding. As she snored loudly, even though she was asleep, the smaller girl looked like she slept with the same amount of energy she put into her waking hours. After a long while, the spreading sunlight hit the eyes of the smaller girl, and she began to turn from side to side in a futile attempt to not wake up. Once she decided she could no longer fight the encroaching sunlight, she turned over a final time. And came face to face with the bed's other occupant. The other girl's purple eyes seemed to draw the smaller one further in as she gave her a light kiss. Morning, Tavy. Octavia yawned lightly and removed one arm from her partner. She brought her hand up and ran her fingers through soft blue hair. And a good morning to you as well, Vina. <sighs> She smiled softly and yawned again. Vinyl slid closer to her lover, so that her head was nestled between the taller girl's neck and shoulder. She inhaled deeply, trying to take in the scent that she had practically surrounded herself with. I wish we could lay like this forever. Octavia's hand stopped. As she pulled vinyl away from her, her eyes were full of something unrecognizable. Was it fury? Was it passion? Whatever it was, it was intense. The tension, however, was broken shortly after by a passionate kiss. When the kiss finally came to a close, Octavia ran a hand through her dark hair as she thought aloud. Well. I suppose if neither of us have any plans, Vinyl pulled away slightly in surprise. Really? Like you're not screwing with me? <laughs> no, I believe I already did that last night. The blush she elicited out of the blue-haired girl was nothing short of the best thing she'd ever seen. Oh, Vinyl. You are so cute when you're flustered. I am so not cute. Final protested, as she crossed her arms and tried to wiggle out of her partner's grip. Oh, then what would you say attracts all those people to your shows? Hmm. Definitely not me being cute. They show up for my music and the show. <laughs> Octavia laughed and pulled Vinyl in for another warm hug. I know, love. How do you think you pulled me in? The smaller girl didn't respond. Instead, she chose only to give a rough sound of dismissal and attempted to close her eyes again. However, her attempt to go back to sleep was interrupted by her lover, as she had seen Vinyl up close. She decided to poke her gently in the side. 
The small girl made a loud squeaky sound. Ah! Hey, that's not fair! I was relaxed. Octavia grinned deeply. All is fair in love and war, Vinyl. <laughs> Don't you start back up again this early? The dark-haired girl pouted. But why not? You liked it enough last night. Come on, don't be like that. It should mean a little more than I just want to lie here with you and nothing else. I suppose. She glanced around the room. It appears that either we made quite the mess last night, or it was already like this, and I just didn't notice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you just didn't notice. But we didn't really help the mess, Vinyl said. She too took her time to look around the room, seeing every detail within the temporary silence that had fallen. She became very embarrassed suddenly as a detail came to her mind, and she pulled the covers tight to her body. Do you want to, like, I don't know, get our clothes together? You know, put our clothes on? The dark-haired girl covered her mouth as she yawned. <laughs> Whatever for? I thought that you wanted to lie here all morning. She looked confused, and in response, for the second time in many minutes, Vinyl blushed wildly. You can't possibly be embarrassed, can you? Vinyl only nodded slowly as she tried, and failed to pull the covers closer to her body. It didn't help her that her partner's <laughs> reaction was not to comfort her, but instead giggle lightly at the bright blush on her cheeks. After she had finished laughing, Octavia spoke again. You've got to be kidding me, Vinyl. You were practically throwing yourself at me last night. In fact, I believe I remember you giving me quite the show. The blue-haired girl's confident smirk returned. So, you liked it then? Despite her posture, she did not sound at all sure of herself. <laughs> I suppose I wouldn't still be here if I didn't enjoy myself. She put her finger to her chin as she thought for a moment. Although, I suppose it would have been hard for me to leave while I was sleeping. So, you're saying that you would have left if you could? The room descended into silence. The dark-haired girl tilted her head to one side as she spoke. You made me well aware last night that I was not supposed to stay. That all of this... She gestured to the bed around them. Was just a one-time thing. There was a hint of disappointment in the way she spoke. She began to get up in search of her lost clothing. Wait, I said what? Vinyl said as she reached for the girl that was no longer next to her. Are you sure that's what I said? Once again, Octavia was confused by the DJ's words. Yes, I am sure. You were very clear. She quickly picked up a piece of discarded clothing. Vinyl scrambled off of her bed. Look, I'm sure I didn't mean any of that. She began hastily dressing herself with what she could find on the ground. She couldn't remember if all of it was from the previous evening, but she didn't really care anymore. <sighs> no, you meant it. I am well aware of your reputation, Miss Scratch. I just couldn't help but let myself be pulled in by... By your... The DJ stopped with her skinny jeans pulled halfway up. By my what? The dark-haired girl let her head drop. I'm not sure. She began getting dressed. Each motion was fluid and quick, but never appeared rushed. The pair shared in another moment of silence as they finished getting dressed. As Octavia slid on her vest, she looked to the floor for a final time. Something was missing. 
something very important. Oh heavens! Don't tell me I've lost it. She began to frantically check around the bed for what was missing. What are you looking for? I was wearing a bow tie last night. I never leave anywhere without it. Octavia responded. She stood and began sifting through the sheets of the bed. Vinyl smiled as she walked to her desk and removed the item in question from the only clear spot the desk had. She held it up to the dark-haired girl. You mean this? Octavia hastily snatched her prized possession from the DJ. Where was it? Vinyl put up her hands. No worries. I cleared a spot on the desk for it. Of all the things I remembered from last night, I'm glad it was that. Octavia kissed her bow tie and deftly threw it around her neck. So, you mean to tell me on that pigsty of a desk, in the heat of the moment, you stopped everything and cleaned off a spot for my bow tie? The DJ ran a hand through her hair. You seem pretty worried about just throwing it down with everything else. Octavia fiddled with her bow tie as she thought. After a moment, she raised a hand and snapped. You have yourself a date. Vinyl shook her head. Excuse me, what? The dark-haired girl smirked. Don't make me say it again. So I uh, have a date <laughs> with you. Yes, you do. Octavia pulled a business card from her vest. I always manage to keep one of these on me. Call me later today, and we can set up a real date. Vinyl blushed. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Octavia giggled as she opened the door. You really are shy when you're away from your turntables. Anyways, till later. And with that, she was gone. Vinyl stood silently for a few moments, just staring at the card. She eventually exhaled loudly and threw a fist in the air. Yeah.